All right, what's good, y'all? So, I made a purchase, you feel me? You feel me? Yeah, right, fly in, man, pop it up, pop it up type shit. But, I purchased this bike. Hold up, hold up, let's wait for the plane to buy this bike, it's pretty loud. All right, so now the plane is kind of gone, basically. Um, I purchased this bike not too long ago, probably like two months, I want to say, two months, three months. Um, it's been fun. This is my 2018 Honda Grom. I don't know what trim it is, but to be honest, it's been fun. And I've been learning how to ride in it. Um, in the past, I've driven dirt bikes and stuff like that, but I wanted to get a street one. And the last time I rode a dirt bike, yeah, I ate it pretty bad. And my hands are all scraped up. I don't know. All right, yeah, so unfortunately, I didn't know, but I guess my camera had died. So this whole time, I was just yapping and yapping about the bike and stuff like that. It died on me. It completely died on me. So I was like, damn, that really sucks. <laughs> like, I spent a lot of time on it. But anyways, um, I ended up buying this bike just because I think it's like, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if <sighs> I bought this bike because I ate shit in the past, and I was like, I honestly don't want to eat shit again, going on a fast bike. So I was like, let me get a smaller bike and get comfortable with it, and then move up. And to be honest, it's been a great bike. I really enjoy it. It's been amazing. I wish I could show you guys footage of me riding it, but you know what I'm saying? We know what happened. The GoPro is no longer here for a specific reason, but yeah, man. Um, yeah, let, me, let me show y'all somebody, let me show you somebody. People, man, you feel me? Say what's up, say what's up, bum bum. Whatever, this is, uh, this is bum bum, guys. Peep him out. He's not mine. He is my sister's, but... You know what I'm saying? We love him here. We love him here at the house, you feel me? But anyways, back to the main thing. Um, yeah, so... The bike's been great. I def it definitely had a problem at the beginning. We went riding on it once, and we took it up a specific mountain and stuff like that. And on the way down, everything was working fine and stuff. But since in, since it was sitting for a year or something like that in a garage, the previous owner had told me, um, we didn't... I would No, we did check the oil and stuff like that, and we changed it out. But I guess we were just pushing it too hard since we just had gotten it. Um, and then I guess the clutch plates ended up warping together and it was just really hard to like shift up and down. So I ended up buying that and I think it was like 120, the part, the shipping and all that stuff was like, I think like 140, which wasn't bad, you know? And since then it's been great. It shifts amazingly. Um, don't really have issues with it, at, to be honest at all. And then we ended up, we, well, I ended up buying some shift levers. Some shift. I ended up buying some levers. See what I'm saying? I'm still still learning the lingo. I don't know all of this stuff. I just know the parts and stuff like that. But whatever. I ended up buying some levers for it. And we changed them out for the stock ones. Because the stock ones were very long. And they were just like sticking out too far. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't like them. And I was like, I'm going to just change them out. And we got some black ones. that looks nice on the bike. And it's been they're working great. They've been working great. Um, they were the Amazon special. You feel me? Uh, they're like 30 bucks anything else from that we haven't done anything to the bike we haven't monitored it, done anything it didn't come with its stock um exhaust it is like a zoom exhaust and i think it sounds great it makes the bike sound amazing you know I, <laughs> you know um i've already had people tell me that when i pull up they're like oh i thought your bike was gonna be bigger and i'm like damn <laughs> you know what i'm saying but um it's a great bike i love it it's been fun to ride um, and I don't spend any amount of gas. Like, when I fill up, I think it's, like, five bucks max. You know what I'm saying? And I fill up probably, like, once every two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not that often. Unless if I'm really pushing it when I go out with my friends and stuff like that to ride, it definitely, you know, you probably will pump sooner than later. You know what I'm saying? But, honestly, great bike. I'm in love with it. I love it a lot. Um, I have no regrets. You feel me? No regrets plans with it i just want to do drives you know ride alongs and stuff like that i've been riding it so i've been getting more comfortable shifting and braking and stuff like that but uh like i said we just don't got no gopro but we'll figure that out sooner or later and um there's an event coming up you know what i'm saying a bunch of motorcycles gonna meet up i'm gonna pull up on my little ground i'm gonna see 
How's it going to go? I always get positive feedback. I never got a negative, except that one time that someone was like, I thought your bike was louder. I think that's fair. You know, it sounds very loud, and it makes it sound like it's a big-ass bike. <laughs> you feel me? And then you pull up, and it's a little ground. You feel me? But I'm not tripping. I've, I'm happy I took this path. I'm happy I took this path, like, picking up the Grom first instead of picking up a bigger bike. Like I said, I've already fell in the past, and it wasn't pretty. My hands were all scraped up. They were all peeled up because I had to put my hands first, no gloves and stuff. And and it was on a tiny bike, too. It was on a tiny bike, too, and um, I learned the hard way, you know. And I've been falling, and I'm not saying that I, I won't ever, and I hope I don't. But, you know, I think starting this way is definitely me. me definitely have made me feel more comfortable within myself and then like riding a bike at the end of the day like driving it in traffic is pretty hectic especially when you're doing it alone i've kind of realized that it's me me personally i think it's safer to ride with friends than by yourself because you guys are a bigger group and they hear you guys come in and they see you guys come in does that make sense if you ride alone they hear you but they don't know where you're coming from or they don't even know if you're coming to them or by them um and since yeah. you're by yourself, <laughs> since since you <laughs> since you are by yourself, it's gonna be way harder to be spotted and you know seen. But um, yeah, I'm definitely happy. You know, I went the I think I went the right way. When time comes, I will. This fool, bro. <laughs> when the time comes, I will like eventually move up to a bigger bike. Um, all the homies are getting a uh, dual sport, uh, a dual dual sport bikes. I like how they look. I don't think um, all the other ones, cruiser bikes, you know, like bobbers and stuff like that, and uh, choppers are my style. If they're your style, do you? You know what I'm saying? I'll support you. But me personally, I'm more into like the sports bikes, naked bikes, and then dual sports. Shits are fire. So I'm definitely looking at dual sports just because all the homies are getting some, and I think it'll be easier for me when it comes down to uh, going to the track. You know, I could take it. You see what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? One big thing that took me a while to get comfortable with is just riding. You know what I'm saying? Getting used to, like, shifting up, down, um, pulling in the clutch, using back brake and front brake at the same time. I am, by, by all means... By all means, I am not perfect at all. I'm not perfect at all. But I definitely feel more comfortable than when I started. And I think a big part of it is, like, you got to trust yourself. You got to trust the bike. Because at the end of the day, it's just you and the bike. <laughs> Nothing else. So there's no airbags. There's no seatbelt. There's no, you know what I'm saying? It's just you and the bike. That's literally it. There's nothing else. So you got to trust yourself. And you got to trust the bike. I'm going to be honest with you. There's people out there who drive recklessly. Everybody does it once in a while. But you got to choose when it's right. You got to choose when it's wrong. And you got to make your own decisions on that. If you drive safe, then just like a car, if you drive safe, you're going to be safe. If you drive recklessly, you going to, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't want that for nobody. Not even for myself, none of the homies, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not something light, you feel me? But um, some things that I did buy were to the guy that I bought the bike from. He, he gave me a lock, so I had one, one lock. He gave me a lock, so I had one lock for free. And then I ended up buying another one, so I have two locks on it. And then I bought a, like, a weather protector around the bike because, you know, you got to keep it safe for the next owner or even for yourself. You don't want to look bad. And I've been using that stuff. It's been great. I've been learning how to, I guess, do a little bit more maintenance and being more, like, mechanical. I think it's been fun. It's fun working on the bike, you know what I'm saying? I'm learning on it, which is great. Um, and that's, oh, and that's what makes it amazing, too, since it's a Grom, too. Pieces are cheap. Parts are cheap. I've never broken a part or anything like that, but it makes me feel more confident and comfortable to, you know what I'm saying, to, like, really push the bike, um, really push it, take it off on the little trails, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the boys. And I don't feel scared. I'm like, oh, man, like, this is a $5,000 bike. Like, it's a sports bike. Like, why am I taking it here? Or it's a naked bike, you know what I'm saying, which could be a little more reasonable. But... I don't feel, I don't feel, I don't feel scared. I don't feel scared. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have
have been looking at different bikes, like I said. Who knows? Rainy season is coming up, so maybe not anytime soon, but soon. Trust, trust. Soon we're going to get a bigger one and we're going to do more activities. Um, I'm still going to enjoy this bike. I have no, by all means, I am not in any rush to sell this bike or trade it in for another bike. You know, I'm taking my time. The time comes, the time feels right. Then, then we'll do it. But for now, I'm going to just enjoy my bike. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do me. But I think another thing to take note is how fun it is. That shit, dude, honestly, that, riding a motorcycle is so fun. It's Been super, super fun. It, it feels very free. You feel the wind hitting your nutsack, you know what I'm saying? That feel going crazy, bro. Yeah, there you go. Look at him. <laughs> you feel the wind hitting your nuts, you know what I'm saying? That breeze hits up there and it tickles. Like, Woo it tickles. And when you're riding with the homies and stuff, and when you hit like a nice view or a nice drive, you feel me up in the hills and stuff like that, it it feels great. It really feels great. <laughs> this food, bro, this food does not let me film. <laughs> but when you're up in the hills and you're just riding, amazing feeling. You know what I'm saying? You see all the boys in front of you. No diddy, no diddy. Relax, relax. <laughs> but it's been fun. I hope you guys. If you're interested in getting one, just be safe, you know what I'm saying? But I hope you enjoy it at the end of the day. And if you don't, that's fine. It's just nothing wrong with it. You know, you'll find your hobbies and shit. But, yeah, be safe. Thank you for watching. Ciao! Saying, my bad. Also, my bad I haven't uploaded it. I know it's been a while. I've just been super busy with life. My friends have been super busy. I think we just been like all having our, you know what I'm saying? Being adults, adulting, adulting. We've just been adulting, you feel me? And um, we've been really busy, but we've been working on stuff in the background. We're gonna try to record. I'm gonna try to record more often. Now that I have a little bit more free time. Um, and the homies too, and I, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully this video helps. I don't know, I don't know if it'll help, but hopefully you just find this video interesting. That's literally it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys.